Hi, my name is Pastor Hal York, and welcome to Truth in the Trenches. Today we're going to be in Proverbs chapter 17, verse 9, where we read, He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close companions. What are some components of being a good friend or having friends, period? We all want friends. These last few months, for some, would have been unbearable without friends. And yet some have been struggling because they have been separated from friends because of all the different protocols going on and lockdowns and everything else. It's kept us from people that we truly enjoy being together with. They're called friends. Friends are important in life. They're valuable in life. And they're a true blessing in life. There are two main ingredients that need to be in place if friendships are going to be developed and maintained. And I think this verse gives us two very important ones. And they seem rather obvious, and they are. But they're also very hard because they cut against the grain of our selfish, sinful nature. The first one he tells us about is the covering of transgression, which speaks of forgiveness, a willingness to overlook, not to make an issue of every hurt. And, and things are always going to happen between friends. Hurts, things are going to be said. We're sinful people, broken people. We're going to mess up. Our friends are going to say things that may be, hurt, may be hurtful things or do things that hurt. They may have done or said them unknowingly, hurting you, just as we have and will do to them. But friends know when to let it go, to cover it, to bury the hatchet, to forgive. Let's face it, if we made issues out of every little offense done against us, we would drive people crazy. No one would want to be our friend. Do people feel like they are on pins and needles when they are around you, constantly on guard lest they offend you? Friends are people who we can feel comfortable around, and they feel comfortable around us. We can say what's on our minds, we can mess up and be ourselves, and the same is true for them. There may be times that we need to deal with stuff, but even then, friends are quick to forgive and make things right. Willingness to cover or forgive sin is, is a mark of friendship. It's a building block of friendship. But on the other side of the ledger, nothing destroys friendships more than repeating things that should be not be shared with other people. Violating someone's trust, a friend's trust. A friend is someone who you can confide in you, who you can confide in them and tell you things they probably would never tell anybody else. And sometimes friends tell us things in private, trusting us to keep them just between the two of, two of us. And when we break that trust, it severs the friendship, and it's almost sometimes ir irreparable. A perverse man, Proverbs says, a perverse man spreads, spreads strife and a slanderer separates intimate friends. Breaking a confidence. This is something few friendships can survive. Once trust is lost, it is very hard to regain Again, trust is another building block of friendship. In our day and age of Facebook and tweets and emails and so on, bearing secrets of others is almost like a hobby because people will follow people just to find the lowdown on other people. And if all you want is to get more followers, that's a great path to, to take. But the problem is it's a very lonely path because you'll never have any real friends, true friends. Would you sell out a friend for popularity? to fit in with a certain group. In Psalm 55, David is talking about himself, but he's also describing what would, what would eventually happen to Jesus one day. This is Psalm 55, 12 to 14. Let me read it. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me, then I could bear it. Nor is it one who hates me who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide myself from him. But it is you, a man my equal, my companion, and my familiar friend, we who had sweet fellowship together walked in the house of God in the throng. You can almost hear the hurt in those words. A friend is someone you can trust, you can share things with, and you don't expect to get stabbed in the back. You don't expect to be betrayed by them. And that's what happened to Jesus. Judas betrayed him for 30 pieces of silver. And if you've ever been betrayed by a friend, you know the hurt. It goes very, very deep. True friendships last because both people understand the need for forgiveness. And secondly, they keep personal things personal. They don't gossip or slander. Ultimately, these are character issues. True friendship, lasting friendship is built on character, integrity, openness, and trust. We have such a friend in Jesus. May we seek to be that kind of friend to others. He who covers a transgression seeks love, but he who repeats a matter separates close friends. May this truth guide us and guard us in the trenches of life as we seek to live our lives for the glory of God and the good of others. May God bless.